All right, guys, we're out here day three, live bait versus artificial. Got some good numbers on the board. The live bait side, we got one big keeper sized red fish. On the artificial side, we got three big slabs of a trout. So we're looking good. Caught a lot of undersized fish, skipjack, hard heads, lots of little trout. Uh, we're gonna see if we can get some more numbers on the board. We're gonna fly the drone a little bit, get some cool shots. It's beautiful out here, guys. Laguna Madre, can't beat a day like this. So let's do it. trout there are big trout sometimes I'm just gonna undermine your comment oh yeah something a little better oh might be a red be a red baby Live bait strikes again. Ooh, I don't know, he's probably ran two or three times already. No net on the boat. We don't? No net. You're gonna jump in and get it. You can use my hat. <laughs> what are you, what do you got? Ooh, it's a red. Ooh, wow. Or is it a drum? How are we gonna get it? I'll grab it. With the camera? This is Kelby's guide service here. He don't let you down. Dive in after that thing. Ooh, he's a pretty red. All right, let's get him. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Redfish reels. Oh Live no. Live bait. We might be tied up now. You got a tough lip. Here, I'll do this part. Okay. Very nice, very nice. For today baby day three first fish on the line live shrimp i've had two small two small trout one oh beautiful so this is what we got going on here we're fishing along this shoreline we're getting pretty tight up on it if you notice we're past the grass line the sandy flats and we're getting into what i call sand pockets you see them all around the boat, right? So redfish, trout, it's what we call an ambush predator. They like to hang out in these grassy areas because they can ambush their prey, uh, spend a little amount of calories and energy to attack. They can just kind of hang out, be patient, wait for them to come by. So if you see here, we're surrounded by these sand pockets. And they're all around us. It gives us a lot of opportunity and a lot of place 
to cast. And if you're throwing cut bait or live bait, chunk it. If you're on bottom into one of these sand pockets, you got to make sure you're in the sand pocket. So if you're sitting in the grass, it might be hard for them to find it. Sitting in the sand pockets like a fresh mill just waiting for them. If you're throwing lures, same thing. You're aiming for them sandy holes. If you're trying to get in there, you know, trying to just be able to put that bait right in front of them so they have no choice but to attack. Uh-oh. We got a fish on the line. It was in between my legs when I caught it. It was one of those sand pockets we were talking about. I was reeling in my bottom rig, and this this rod was in between my legs. It almost took off out of my legs. <laughs> Courtney's on. She's on. Just as I was explaining those sand pockets. She is on. Woo! I feel like it buried down into the grass. You got an amateur drone pilot here, but we got a great shot going on here. Courtney is reeling in a monster. It is not moving. It is burying down. Big fish. Big fish. Let's see if we can back out and, and see this thing. My bicep is so maxed out right now. How cool is that? Is your chest cam on? I think so. Well, yeah, I hope so. Can I operate a chest cam and a drone at the same time? Nice fish. Oh, that's a big red. You gonna grab them? All right, I guess I gotta grab get the to boat. Hurry. Oh. There he is, folks. There he is. Woo! Freaking beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Uh oh, we got a competition here now. Three to three, baby. <laughs> three redfish versus three trout. Just as I was saying, these predator fish love to hang out in those sand pockets. They really do. Ooh, we've got three spots. Four, five, five spots. Show it to the camera down here. Look at that. We got two on this side and then Look at we've that. Got three That's on a this nice side. One. Like five spots. Very nice. Beautiful. Oh man, it don't get prettier than that. I gotta get back in. Hold on, guys. Oh, there he is. There he is. We got a trout. No. It's a red. That's a red, baby. No! Let's stay on the line. No! Oh, yeah. I knew they'd go for that little white down south.
We got three reds here. I am going to try some dead shrimp on the bottom, hoping to get some drum or some trout, as this guy up here is trying to hook set himself off of the bow of the boat. All right, guys, that wraps it up. Artificial versus live bait. Y'all tell me, y'all watched it all. Live bait, artificial bait, what's your bait? Comment down below. Let us know what y'all like to use out there on the water. Guys, there really is no one right way out here. Whatever you get enjoyment out of down here, whether you come down, throw live shrimp, catch all types of fish, or you're throwing artificials targeting specific species, it's all fun. It's all good time. So whatever y'all enjoy, just get out here and do it. So I ended up with four nice slot fish three good trout, one big red, and Courtney landed four solid slot redfish. So the official tally was four before. Unfortunately, it's time to go home. We both have full-time jobs. We gotta get back to work. We had a lot of fun recording this video. The microphones hopefully made the quality a little better. We got the drone, we got to put it up in the air. It's just a total different view looking at the Laguna from above like that. So I hope y'all enjoy some of those shots. We're gonna put this video together. We'll go back and get a total count on all fish caught. Pretty obvious, live bait caught more numbers of fish, skipjacks, hardhead, undersized trout, lots of small redfish, and artificial really targeted those more slot sized fish, although I did catch a lot of undersized trout as well. We'll tally up all the numbers, we'll put all fish caught together and put it up on the board so y'all be able to make your decision on what to use when you come out here. Again guys, thank y'all so much for watching this video. A like, a subscribe would go a far way for the channel. We're a brand new channel. We're putting this all together. We have a lot of fun doing this. So yeah, please like the video, subscribe, share it. Don't forget, comment down below. Artificial live bait, what's your choice? See y'all on the next one guys.